All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Good Tutor, and what I do here is solve technical drawing problems and also provide very important information that you can make yourself for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. And if you're a technical drawing student, you are watching my video for the first time, I want to appreciate you and I want to ask that you subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. Are very important, you need to practice this subject for you to master it for you to be able to solve any problem that comes from technical drawing you need to practice it now what i want to do here now i want to show you how to construct an hexagonal prism that is a prism with uh cross sectional uh cross sectional ends to be six-sided polygon that's an hexagon so i will show you how to do that here and i want you to pay attention to the way i'm going to do it so now the first thing that we are going to do here is to construct an hexagon. We construct an hexagon. So here I will draw an horizontal center line here like this. So the length or side of the hexagon that I'm going to use is 25 millimeters. Is 25 millimeters. So I will take a measurement of 25 millimeters on my ruler. 25 millimeters like this. So I will put it at this point. So and I will draw a circle. So it means that the diameter of the circle is 50 millimeters. So when I do this, so I will call this point. This point, I will call it point A. And this point, I will call it point B. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will, this radius that I, I use to construct this circle, I will put at this point. And I will draw an arc up and down this line. Then I will also put it here at point B draw an arc up and down here like this okay now so i'm going to connect this point together to form the hexagon so let me label this this is point c so this is point c here so this is uh, point d and this is point e and this is point f okay so now so i will join this point together so i join this point together like this Okay, so I will connect BF together. So I will connect BC together. Like this. I will connect CF together. Like this. I will connect AD together. Connect AD together. And I will connect AE together. Alright, so I have the hexagon like this. So this is an hexagon. So also I may uh, decide to connect these uh, corners together. Okay. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw horizontal line through this line EF. So draw horizontal line so like this then through line cd i draw horizontal line and then so i will draw a vertical line draw a vertical line through point b here like this and i will also draw a vertical line through point a so looking at what I've done here. So if I number this point, this is point, uh, point one, this is point two, this is point three, this is point four. So what we have here, so this is a rectangle. Rectangle one, two, three, four is a rectangle, not a square. So it may look like a square to you, but it is not a square. So I want to bear that in mind, it is not a square, it's a rectangle. So now this is the top view of the hexagonal prism that we want to draw this is the top view so or the plan so now let's go and see how we are to construct the the hexagonal prism so the first thing that you need to do here so we draw a horizontal line here like this then so uh, after drawing this horizontal line so as you can see here so i will take my 30 degree square i will draw a line 
So I draw a line in this direction. I need to construct. So I also draw a line in this direction, like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will take my compass. Here I will take my compass. So this is my compass. I will take this distance from here to here. Distance from here to here, that is distance uh, 3, 4, distance 3, 4. I will take it like this, as you can see here, distance 3, 4. I will put it at this point here. So I make an arc here. Okay, so let me write it here. This is 3, and this is 4. So distance 3, 4, as you can see here. So then I will also take distance 2, 3, distance to 3. And don't forget that distance 3, 4 that you have taken here is equal to distance 1, 2. So I believe to understand that it's equal to distance 1, 2. So distance 3, 2 or 2, 3 that I'm taking here is equal to distance 1, 4. So this is the length. So this is the length. So this is longer than this. So this is the length and this is the width. So I will take this distance. So I take distance 2, 3 like this and I put it at point 3 here so putting it at point 3 here and I will draw an arc here like this so this is point 2 here okay so now so I'm going to use this to form a rectangle a, an isometric rectangle here so here I will draw this line so I draw this line So draw this line in this direction and I will also so draw this line so draw this line in this direction all right so this is so looking at what we have here this is point one here so this is point one so we need to locate point a b c d e f so that's what I want to do now so this is how to go about that so just look at the way I'm going to do it so what you need to do is that what you need to do is that so put the point of your compass here at point three and extend to point a here extend to point a so this is it so you extend to point a you take this distance like this okay so take this this distance put it at point three here and you make an arc here so the same thing we apply to point b so i will put at point two here and i will make an arc here so this is point a here and this is point B. Okay, then for us to get point C, D, E, F. So all I need to do is to take distance from here to here. That is all. I will take distance 3E from here. 3E. I will take distance 3E from here to here. So as you can see here, this distance from here to here. So this is it. So distance 3E. So I will take it like this. Then I will put it at this point 3 here. So I make an arc here. So here also I will make an arc, okay? So bringing it here, putting at point two here, I will make an arc, and putting at point one, I will make an arc, okay? So looking at what we have here, so this is point, this is point, um, this is point C, this is point D, this is point E, and this is point F here, okay? So I believe you understand what I did here. So because I'm constructing a prism, I only need a small part of it. I don't need the whole of it. I only need uh, this. I'm going to have, I only need three sides, three sides. So here now I'm going to join. I will join this point A, point A here. I will connect it with point E and E to F. Then I will connect F to D here. So this is it. So if I connect this. So I'll connect this together. So A E. I'll connect this together. So I'll connect E F. Connect E F together. And I will also connect A D together. Like this. Connect A D together. So partially, if you are to if you want to see what I'm doing here, so partially I will connect. Uh though I don't need it. I'm not using my black pen to draw that bit. Partially I will connect. So okay, this will be hidden from me. So let just let me show it as uh, hidden detail. Okay, let me use my. This will be hidden. So I will draw it with short dashes line so that we see what I've gotten here like this. So this also. 
So I will also draw it with short dashes line because at the back I can't see it is hidden. So I can't see, but I'm using short dashes line to show it for you to see how it will look here in the in the uh, here at the bottom of the prism. So okay. All right, so this is how it will look at the bottom of the prism. So the next thing that we are going to do now, we are done with this. We have used this. We are used to go to get what we need. So the next thing that we are going to do, we want to draw the upper, uh, the, the 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 upper hexagon, hexagon on the top of the prism. That's what I want to do now. So let's look at it. So what we need to do now is that I will, so from this point, I will draw a vertical line. From this point two, I will draw a vertical line here, and from point three here, I will also draw a vertical line. Then from point four, I will draw a vertical line from point four here, draw a vertical line like this. Then I will take a measurement of the height of the prism. So I want to use 60 millimeters. I want to use 60 millimeters. So this is it. So here, this is 60 millimeters. Here, so I will transfer this point i need to construct that same rectangle so i'll construct it here so i don't have to take any measurement again so all i need to do is to transfer this point so transfer it here like this then i will draw from here so i'll draw from draw from here to here okay then i will transfer this transfer this to the other side so now also, okay, I need to, this line is not thick enough, so, okay, so I will now transfer this to the other side. So this is it. So let's pay attention to see what I'm going to do here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will just transfer this point A here, this point D, this point C, point B, point F, point E, onto this part. I don't have to repeat what I did here before. What I mean is this. So point A, I'll just draw a vertical line from here. So I'll trans draw a vertical line from here, like this. So then for point D, I'll draw a vertical line. Maybe I'll be showing you so to this point. So here now, this is point A. So I'll call this point A1. And this is point D. So this is point D1 here. So this is point D1. So I've done that. So then let point C. So point C, I will draw a vertical line from here to here. So this point here. So this is point C1. Okay, then point B, I'll just draw a vertical line from here like this. So meeting this line, this all right. I've got something behind you, and I'm going to explain it right now. As I said, I was explaining that we need to locate a uh, point, point A1, point B1, point C1, D1, E1, and F1. So which I've done, you see, I did some of them. So then, uh, after I've located all the points, I join the point together. As you can see, I join the point together, and I form the hexagon on the top face of the prism so then the next thing that i do after that is that i connect point d1 to point d here i connect a1 to a here i connect e1 to e here i connect f1 to f here b1 to b here and i connect c1 to c here so after that then for uh for b1 and for c1 you know that is the part that is even from us at the back, we cannot see it. And that's why I use short, short dashes line to show the lines here. So that is how, this is how to draw the uh, prism of uh, an hexagonal prism as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice it, you definitely master it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.